Rock City Networks coming to you from the vineyard here in St Kilda and joining me the Shore Shot Hunters. How are you boys? It's finally, we, 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 we get to see you, get to say g'day. Yeah, g'day. Um, yeah, finally you've come down and uh, not another drunken night somewhere else, but uh, it's good to good early. to have you in town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's still early. Now this is the uh, this is the last uh, last night of residency here for you guys at the vineyard. Yeah, we've been here for uh, since uh, the end of April and um, it was May. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, we were going to do next week, but uh, we're up at Broad, Broad Beach Blues Festival up in Gold Coast, um, Southern Queensland, doing a blues festival up there next week. So yeah. Yeah. Last week, last night, tonight. Yeah, nice one. Now you guys, uh, you guys taking a break after this, after the Blues Fest? Oh, the the Blue Show next next week? Or? Um, oh, not taking a break. I think we just get, we're planning on getting into the studio and uh, doing. We just released uh, an EP. Kings and Queens. Kings yeah. and Queens, yeah. yeah. And uh, did a launch at the top, and that went really well. And we think about doing a. Uh, we've got this reggae rock track titled Fire. Uh, we're gonna get some cats to. Um, gonna get some dudes to. Like mix up this reggae track that we're gonna do. Uh, yeah, it's been going off at gigs and stuff. So anyway, we're gonna cut that before. Yeah. We, yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we're doing a thing that's um, record store up the road and stuff. Anyway. Uh, yeah. uh, Pure pop. Pure pop. Yeah. yeah you yeah. down there? Yeah, I think uh, Queen's birthday, the Monday on the Queen's birthday, the fourth, thirteenth, fourteenth, I think it is. Yeah. We're there on the Monday. Other, uh, it's a unplugged session. I think they've had some uh, one person complained. In the, in the area saying it was too loud so they, they can't really do drums or you know, it just has to be completely toned down but yeah we're, we're in there doing an in-store. Yeah so what that what that complaint just happened recently that's ridiculous. Yeah I think in the last few weeks one person across the road complained in one of the apartments and said it was too loud for them on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, it was me. They probably shouldn't have moved to St Kilda in the first well, place if they were looking for no noise. Yeah. This is very fucking true. Why do people move into areas that are established for their cultural, artistic and musical yeah. fucking, you know, hangouts and then come in and complain about, you know, what's existing, what's been there for fucking years. Yeah, well, anyway. Well, I mean, it happened to the Rainbow as well, you know, over the other side of town. The, the big apartment block across the road started complaining after it was built. We played um, a gig there just before it shut down the last time, didn't we? The Blues Train CD launch. Anyway, it went off. It's really good. It's just a shame, man. Like, um, yeah, these struggling kind of venues, you know, they're like trying to make ends meet and, you know, copping shit left, right and center. And, you know, pe people should understand that the whole reason they want to move into an area, uh, you know, the reason they're, they're paying these is often rent fees and that is because of the culture that's been there initially and the scene that art artists and musicians and creative people have helped to create which is what, what makes these scenes an attraction, you know what I mean? So you got to fucking give and take, anyway. What else is happening? I mean, with the EP, you, you obviously got a lot more material put away. Are you looking at an album at any time towards the end of the year, I would imagine, if it's going to happen? Or are you just going to just write off this Kings and Queens EP for the time being? Well, uh, I think that was the... Well, I guess last year when we did record, it was... Uh, well, it was, we did the five tracks and we figured it was discussion that we let's put an EP out because it was summer and just to get a release out and we do have a fair few tracks to... I, I think we wanted to, we did an album initially and we, with the budget we had, we made that, we spread that a bit further and I think we were just like, all right, what if we just do less tracks, you know, quantity versus quality yeah. and uh, try and put more money into production value and, and get four track, you know, like how many tracks we do, five track, whatever, um, sounding as good as they can be, uh, just to show cats, you know, what we can, you know, sound like in, in the studio and stuff like that, so hopefully the next big release will, you know, be of, of that quality all through, but, you know, um, we, we fund our money through our live gigs and, you know, it's, um, it takes time, you know what I mean, like, uh, yeah, it takes time to build up that, that bank account so we can get into the studio again and do yeah. another the recording and stuff so yeah anyway Ide on. ideally I think it's yeah it's very in that motion so what Ali said is working enough so you know we can actually pay for it because right you know we've been trying to chase a few labels and but then you can't kind of think you know what's the point with these days with the digital sort of world and the way you can put everything online and through various digital outlets and book your own tours and you know a booking agent probably ideal and get us on the board but you know we're we'll just keep keep writing and keep playing and you know getting a getting the sure shot hunter sound I guess and you know that's that's sort of where the next little bit is like you know ideally we'd love to get in the studio and and record a whole album because we do have the material to, to get in there and do it so but yeah time money you know tr a few of us want to travel this year as well we've been together five years so it's definitely you know not an ending but it's a it's just a work in progress always yeah, yeah. 
you think the travelling will help? Uh, you know, with the songwriting stuff, five years is a long time to be together. Sometimes that break is essential for you to stay together in the long run, yeah? No, like, I, I do believe I'll be playing with these cats till I'm an old fart. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just... You're gonna make it that far? <laughs> yeah, well, ho hopefully I'll make it that far. Hopefully you will, man. <laughs> That's the question. Um, <laughs> Collaborate. Collaborate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, but I, I know, like, I'm taking off soon to the States and that kind of suss that scene out. It's all about growing, you know what I mean? It's all, um, yeah, just checking shit out and getting inspired and coming back and reconvening and seeing where it's at. And, you know, every Sunny bands do that, you know what I mean? It's, it's all, if you don't grow in, as individuals, you're not going to grow as a band. Yeah. Never, never a bad time to travel, I think, you know? No way. So I always get on the road and he'll be over there and, and organising stuff and hopefully he'll get himself sorted out over there and it's always better for like sometimes with a, you know, like a conference thing, you, take, you get your manager to go over to suss out the scene and see what's going on and then you, you reconvene and get back and you work hard on the tracks and go over to that spot. Because America is definitely a place where we all want to be, you know? It's, you know, Australia's a... It's, Oh, it's, it's, a big, it's a big country, but there's not many people, you it's know, It's definitely so. your sound. America, I think, is your sound. Mm. Definitely for the short shot hunters. Oh, it'll be great to see, man. I'm looking looking forward to the future of the band, and, uh... Yeah. So, uh... <laughs> how are you feeling at the moment? Come here often. I'm feeling something. <laughs> guy was looking at me funny. Fuck <laughs> me. Might, might be that, uh... Might be that jazz cigarette. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Who are you? Get away from me! Funny are you the cops? It's funny, it's funny, it's funny that you said jazz cigarette. Yeah, yeah. You were speaking to Nick. I like that. Speak to him. That's Nick Delaney, everybody. <laughs> Spider fingers, some going. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, listen. Let's uh, let's let's wrap it up and go inside and watch you uh, punch out a few more sets. It's uh, it's been a pleasure to uh, sit down and have a chat to you. Good luck for the touring and the travelling and all that sort of stuff. And hopefully we'll see some uh, uh, bigger and better material come out of the Short Shot Hunters in the next you know 12 to 18 months, I would imagine. If you want any more information on these lads, you can hit theshortshothunters.com. You can also go to myspace.com forward slash shortshothunters. Uh, it's Rock City Networks. The, the, the short, the short It's all up on the screen there anyway, so if I get it wrong, you'll see it there. Uh, this is Rock City Networks from the Vineyard, the Short Shot Hunters joining us. Lads, we'll talk to you soon. Cheers, Benny. Oh, scratching foam.